What's going on guys, it's Gamer2000, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy Episode 18. Last episode we completed the Gold Leaf Galaxy, In today's episode we're going to go ahead and take on my favorite galaxy, um, originated, like, the Toy Time Galaxy kind of looks like this, so, let's go ahead and start my favorite galaxy. Toy Time Galaxy, fly to this galaxy. And we're going to go ahead and do five more comets, unless the comet doesn't come up. Toy Time Galaxy Heavy Metal Me Mecha Bowser. The, um, the cos- the cosmic galaxy or whatever. Comet Galaxy doesn't show up. I think it will. Alright, so this one is probably the longest out of all of them. Um, I have a picture of this on my phone, like, right here. And I have the music on my phone. It's- it's actually really cool music. And sorry about me breathing, I'm still kinda exhausted from running. And I had to leave, so I'm doing this video a little bit later than usual. So, yeah, I did do a little bit more running, so, still exhausted, so sorry about that. Alright, so there are a lot of star bits on random places when you're flying, so, it's pretty cool. Um, so anyways, when you get to this place, some, some parts gravitational force pull you left, right, wherever you go, um, it's kind of easy to survive. Um, this galaxy is actually pretty challenging sometimes, and that can happen, which can be really annoying. Um, when you shake the bolts, star bits come out. And, like, I like this part of the song. Like, listen. Yeah, I like that. It just sounds like dub stuff. You actually listen to it. The whole thing. I mean, it's really cool music. Um, in Super Mario Galaxy 2, there's a thing called, like, um, um, Super Massive Galaxy, I believe. And, um, it has the same music, so it's cool that they have both of them for that. And when you unscrew that bolt, that will happen. Um... What you do next, I think you long jump over here, then the gravitational force will pull you there. Um, because I've tried it before and that happens, like you fall down. Um, so anyways, there will be star bits on the crayons, which is actually really cool. Um, we almost have 70, which is pretty cool. Um, those things, all you have to do is ground pound on their heads or something, and then they open up. No, you, oh yeah, you jump on them, then they open up, and then ground pound on their heads. You transform into Spring Mario, press A at the right moment to bounce high, boing. Like, right when their heads open up, you, like, ground pound on them. So when you have the spring, you can hold A, and then you'll, like, get random items. But if you get hit by that, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Or ground, oh, never mind, you just ground pound them, and then a coin comes out. Um, you don't even have to have the spring for this, all you have to do is backflip and then jump that. So, yeah, I just wanted to get those star bits. I mean, it's way easier doing the backflips. And you don't, um, if you guys actually knew this, you don't even have to use the spring for this whole episode. Well, I think you do, but all you have to do is triple flip up here. Um, yeah, it's actually really easy. Really easy level, it's just pretty long. Um, just watch out for those, um, Mecha Bowser things, the mini ones. Um, yeah, just keep bouncing up, and then you have it right there, it's really easy. Um, just don't try to bounce off, because, like, sometimes that randomly happens, and it can be really annoying. Um, so yeah, just keep bouncing up, and... There is a pipe on the other side, I just didn't really want to deal with it because I have so many star bits already. <laughs> Alright, so there's another crayon that has green star bits. So we have over a hundred right now, which is really, really good. Alright, so probably this whole level has like way more star bits than a whole three star, I mean, three, yeah, three star galaxy, it's crazy. Well, this is a three star galaxy, but all the star bits I'm getting is crazy. Alright, so what you're gonna do is get the spring, and, um, just bounce to about right here, then bounce up, and then you'll land on that, ground pound that, um, the, and then the sh launch star will appear, so then you'll launch to Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser Planet. Um, I like this music too, if you if you look it up on the internet, it's really cool, and you have to jump, cause you'll die if you don't, like, you'll get under the thing and then you'll lose. Um, so this orange pipe takes you to that so it's pretty much a little shortcut um i won't go for the star but since they're all the way back there um just unscrew that bolt i think you have to, i don't think you have to unscrew the other one um but whatever um unscrew these four bolts right here um uh and then the cage thing will open up. it's kind of funny because i'm learning about like simple machines and compound machines um and science physical science that's what it is it's kind of weird like the bolts and wedges and all this stuff like right here we're learning about and it's in the game. <laughs> I wish it would help you. Like, it would be funny, though. 
Um, so just, yeah, walk right there, then the gravitational force will pull you down there, I'm um, going to the pipe, and it'll make you to this next area, and I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut level. Um, all you have to do is shake and spin up here. Um, I think I'm stuck. No, 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 all you have to do is walk to here. Whoa, I almost fell off. I would've been pissed if I would've fell. Um, I think I would've died anyways, so, um, all you have to do is shake, spin the bats, you'll get three star bits, so. Whoa, I thought I was gonna die right there. Um, just kill the bats, they're really not that hard to kill, but sometimes they are. Unscrew this bolt, and a launch star will appear. Um, try to get it quick because the bolt, like, falls down or whatever. Alright, so after that, you will get transported to right here or whatever. Um, what you're gonna do is get this, the uh, spring Mario or whatever. Um, just watch out for the fire shooting thing and the chemic. Um, that, the thing that's gonna shoot fire, like, right now is actually really annoying and it's hard to dodge so just try to go on the side and even on the treadmill thing um it doesn't matter if i don't think you can kill him anyways but all you have to do is backflip or do that and then for right here just get on this thing i think you can actually get on top of the what i'm gonna show you without doing that but um there you go just hold z ground pound that and then heavy metal mecha bowser will die well yeah i shouldn't say die since this is an e for everyone game but pass away or whatever Alright, so as you can see, it frees those four robot-looking things. I like those things. They're probably one of my favorite characters. Um, they just say good job and stuff. So there we go. That is our 78th star of the game. You got a star. Wow, under seven minutes. That was actually pretty fast for the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the secret star done first for coming up right now. So, yeah. You got a star. Heavy Metal Micah Bowser. Toy Time Galaxy Star number 78. Nine coins. One two thousand four hundred and two star bits. Every game muscle is saving that turn the power off or it's the game. The game has been saved. And it's a funny thing about Heavy Metal Micah Bowser because in um in the um the one the Super Mario Sunshine, the Pina Park, like the first star is to face Heavy Metal Micah Bowser, so I think he just returns since Super Mario Sunshine is older. Alright, Toy Time Galaxy, Mario meets Mario. This is actually my favorite star out of the whole game in my favorite galaxy, which is kinda really funny, don't you think? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the secret star first, so don't, we won't have to worry about that. Um, so, sorry, I have to breathe. Um, so, um, what you're gonna wanna do for this is, um, just try to get as many star bits as you can. Um, don't worry about the train, there's no really any star bits or anything on there. Just, um, backflip up here, or you can do it other ways, I don't really mind. But, um, yeah, just try to get as many as you can, just shake and get all the star bits. Um, I think you're supposed to have 50, so, we already have 47, so, yeah, it's really easy to get a lot of them. I think you're supposed to ground pound on that one thing that shoots the electric, I've never even tried it, so, that's why. And there will be falling comets, so, it's easy to get a lot of star bits. But, like, they fall in random places, and then you can't even tell where they are, which is annoying, but, so there we go, we have 52, I think that's enough. Um, watch out for these electric things, they go pretty fast. Hey you, yeah, you got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snack happiness and then to transform. I'm famished, I need 50 star bits to hunger the curb pains. I think that's what I said. So yeah, all you need is 50, it's really not that hard, and um, there we go. Two left. That's it, I'm stuffed here, you'll transform! And with that, it will transform into a new planet. A new planet was born. So let's go ahead and ride the different oddly colored launch star. On to the new planet. Um, there is a fast fill comet for this, so this is why it's gonna be really annoying, especially the fast fill. Um, all you have to do is you can go inside here. The fast fill comet is really hard for that, so all I'm saying is just watch out. Um, for each of them, there will be a different side thwomp, so just wait till they get off. Um, you can hit that for more star bits. I suggest you do that if you don't have many, because after feeding that hungry Luma, you barely have any, right? <laughs> Um, there, I think I got the one strip by him. Alright, so next, what you're gonna do is, well, you, usually people get this first. And I was kinda stupid, I should've gotten it first, but, yeah, whatever. Um, what you're gonna do next is long jump over to here. Ooh, this game wants to play tricks on me, right? So what you're gonna do is long jump over here, and then you'll make it. Um, watch out for this thwomp right here. He's really annoying. Um, if in the middle, it's fine, so just watch out for that, and that is three right there. Um, is there some on the, any other side? I think so. Um, there it is, there it is. Alright, so there's another one. 
there's one, and there should be a few more on this side. So what you're going to do is backflip up here, and there will be three more on this side. And then that will give, ooh, I see there's more. Yeah, there's, yep, there's three more. So it's kind of like a maze. And don't take that pipe because it'll just transport you back to the start, which is really annoying. Oh, and, and that spiky thing will kill you, so. Duh, but. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna start fresh, I mean. Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, one out of three, two out of three, and then wait till the spike thing will, um, yeah. And there we go. Got our hidden star. A little bit over, th um, ten minutes. About eleven minutes when I get there to get it. Okay, and those things stop after you get it, so there's no need to worry, but. The slump still moves, so. Yeah, just keep following the path you got before, and then what you're gonna do is just, it's on this orange plant right here, backflip down. I could have got that coin right there, but whatever. There we go, that is our 79th star of the game. You got a star in 11 minutes. Wow, my timing is crazy cracked, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Sorry, oh my gosh. You got a hidden star, the flip switch chain. Toy Time Galaxy star number 79. Two coins, 2,431 star, but save your game. Miss that will save you out of that power off or save the game. The game isn't saved. I just found out if I need to breathe heavily, I'll just breathe outside the mic, so. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead, fly to this galaxy, and take on the original second star. Yeah, that's way better. It's not even, like, really loud. Toy Time Galaxy, Mario meets Mario. I think that's what other people do, too, or they just hold their breath like I usually do. So we can skip that. Um, you don't have to worry about the train. Um, and then you can just double jump if you want, then shape and spin. Um, I'll still get enough star bits since I'm in the air and I can't really do anything about it. So, there we go. We already have... Dang, we already have 50. I mean, I, did, I got more than last time. That's crazy. Well, 49, but you know what I mean. Well, I thought I hit it right there. Um, there should be a star piece around here somewhere. All down here is just the one. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go up here. There should be a star piece around here. And I guess not. Um, nope. Alright. Get, oh my gosh, it's so glitchy. Oh my gosh, how many is there? Seriously? What? Wow. There we go, that's two. Seriously? Yeah, you can do that. Spin it, and then, there we go, I remember now. Alright, so this is three right here. Um, on this bolt, there should be one. Yep, yep, there's one right here, I remember it. Um, so just walk up it, and there should be one right here. Unscrew the bolt, and uh, this thing will go up, and that will be the fifth one. So, I didn't know, I was like, I was wondering where the last one was anyways. Alright, so just follow this way, um, just walk up, walk up the bolt, we'll jump first. There we go, that is our fifth star piece. And then, oh, it's right there, so, with 59 star bits, let's go ahead and head into Mario Meets Mario Planet. I love this planet, it's my favorite planet of the game. Alright, so what you want to do is, you have to get silver stars, just try to, um, dodge any of those platforms that disappear. Just try to barely get on as many as you can, so that's what I usually do. And I usually try to get just just follow my pattern. It's really easy. Um the the yellow part of Mario is like the tipsy ones, the green ones are the disappearing ones, and then the red ones are fire like his cap and his um shirt or whatever you call it. Alright, so we have three of them. Here's the fourth one. Um just long jump over to this one. You don't even have to spin. And with that, five silver stars, 14 minutes, our star will go all the way over there. And as you can see, I have barely of the platforms disappeared, which is kind of crazy, don't you think? Um, long jump over to here, and there we go, that is our 80th star of the game. You got a star. Yeah, that's better. You got a star. Mario meets Mario. Toy Times Galaxy star number 80. One coin, 2,505 star bits. Save your game. Yes, I will. Save it. You have to the power off where I set the game. The game has been saved. Let's go ahead back into Toy Time Galaxy, and let's go ahead and do the Fast Folk Comet. I was about to say the third star. But <laughs> 
with 15 minutes. Wow, three stars on 15 minutes in Toy Time Galaxy. Fast foe comet in orbit. Toy Time Galaxy, fast foes of Toy Time. Alright, so this is really easy, just like the other ones. The only really challenging part about it is the thwomps. Like, right when you get here, they can crush you on their side, so just try to go on it fast. Um, yeah, you can get the, the, the one things right there. So, yeah, just try to hurry. You don't have a time limit, so nothing to worry about there. And the, um, the one water place, it's, it was the fast foes of the one place, so I actually consider that harder, so... I don't think we'll have a problem with this. I think we can make it on our first try. Whoa! Take it easy there, Mario. Are you kidding me? I have to get off and go back on. Seriously, you want to make... They really want to make this game way more challenging than it is, but... It's fine with me. Oh, and there was actually two star, star bits there. Alright, so this part... As you can see, there's one more thwomp. And they go way faster than... As planned. As scheduled. Oh, pilot, I think our flight's gonna be a little bit delayed. Um, yeah. Alright, so just follow this path. Um, don't use that spring unless you want to go back up. Um, those, yeah, the spikes. The spikes are what gets me. Um, they're not really a challenge unless you're following the way it's going. So, I mean, it's pretty easy. Alright, so this part, just backflip onto here, and then backflip up here. And up here, um, since we're not going the same way as the spikes, it'll be really easy. And there should be three more up here. And um, um, wait till you get off that. I'll do it the other way this time. Ooh, I don't care about those star bits. I think 22 is good enough. All right, and since those stops, I'll be stopped. I'll be able to get the star bit with ease. I just don't, oh yeah, I can get the star. Oh really, really, and the star with ease. That's what I meant to say. But. I can get the star bit with ease too. So, this game thinks it can beat me. No, it can't. Let's go ahead and backflip and obtain our 81st star of the game. You got a star. You got a star, fast foes of Toy Time, Toy Time Galaxy, star number 81. Two coins, 2,528 star, but save your game, miss I will save you out for the power off orders of the game. The game's been saved. Let's go ahead back into Toy Time Galaxy, and let's go ahead and do the third original star. And this star will take a long time, so I apologize if this takes about half an hour. So, yep. Toy Time Galaxy bouncing down Cake Lane. Ooh, sounds yummy with 18 minutes. And this has to do with ice cream and cake, which makes me so hungry. But I'll eat. I'll eat cake. I have cake at home. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, welcome to the galaxy. Um, as you can see, the trains go way faster. Even going the other way is fun, fun, fun. Um, as you can see, this Toy Time Galaxy is all about fun. And I think all about fun is fun, too. And there's tons of star bits on those random pieces of fruit and cake and whatever. Alright, so as you can see, we're going to get the Spring Mario again, and um, introducing a new way of Spring Mario. Spring Mario can jump walls. You don't even have to press A. Um, it's kind of hard to get the star bits, but yeah. Alright, so if you, if you go this way, all you have to do is spring up, get the star bits that were down there. So, I, yep, I got it. Alright, so what you're going to do is here. Um, there should be tons of star bits down here, and star bits here. And then Mario will jump off the Hershey bar, so that's what's kind of annoying about. Don't they look like Hershey bars, though? I'm pretty sure they are. Hershey bars were invented then, don't you think? Um, yeah, just jump down here, and there's a million star bits. We have over, like, 120 almost. It's, like, it's madness, though. Um, last time I did the practice round, I died twice here. So I'm gonna try to at least only die once, so... I don't think I'll die at all of how good I'm doing, I swear. This is the best I've ever done playing video games in a long time. Um, yeah, Spring Mario looks like he can only jump a little bit far when he jumps, but he can actually jump a little bit farther unless you don't get momentum, which is really easy to not get, but there we go. Let's take the Slingstar onto the next galaxy. 
and it plays different music, so we start at the ice cream cone. Alright, and these ice cream bars, so you start off here like climbing the stick, which is a really good invention if you if I think anyways. Alright, so I'll go ahead and get the star bit so I don't want to jump and waste my time. Alright. So as you can see there's a four thing lollipop. Um just keep jumping the things. I suggest not to jump onto another one because who knows when that thing will go off. Um I don't suggest you go on the um other things too, and I suggest you don't jump either. But just jump and spin when you're done. Yeah, that was kind of luck. I died. I remember dying like twice there too. So as you can see, when I did the practice round, this took me about like five lives to beat. Especially the end of the boss, which is really, really annoying. Um, if you go back here, um, there is a life room. I thought I saw a life room somewhere else, but I guess not. So there you go, we have six, um, health lives, whatever. Not lives, like health lives. Alright, so what you're gonna do is shoot, and then when you have enough, um, yeah, you can use the things, but, uh, I have way too many star bits already, so. Yeah, alright, so here we go. Um, and it plays back to the regular music, which makes me happy. Um, you can go back here and there's a pipe. I think it all gives you this, um, coins, star bits, rainbow Mario, or something like that. Um, as you can see, the music is sped up if you run as fast as you can, if you, and it makes it super fast. Woohoo! There we go, that gives a one-up. I guess I never said that, so I was incorrect the whole time. 18 lives now, let's go ahead and head back into the fun music, not the pipe underground music, which sounds so lame and boring as, um, what's his name would say, um, when I was doing the new Super Mario Bros, the little kid, Jacob's friend, so, Jacob's pretty good at video games, if you ever watched the Black Ops, me and him, um, when we were at the Nest Cafe, he purposely died, when he said, I know, I'm sorry, it's my fault, he purposely died, I could tell he's way better than that at video games, he just wants to embarrass himself all the time, I don't know why, I mean, he's as, he's almost as good as Mini Logo, I mean, I, I think I'm better than both of them at this game, but, just not like, like, shooting games and stuff, they're better than me at that. I'm, like, more into t to Nintendo and stuff. I mean, like, I hate when people say, like, Nintendo's gay and stuff and shooting games are way better. I mean, I like both of them, but, like, Nintendo I just grew up with, and it just, just, it just reminds me of all the good times I've had. And whatever, back to the game. Um, as you can see, there's tons of star bits around the planet. Wow, 214 star bits. And as you can see here, we have a boss fight, too go and and when you have the spring mario those things will turn you back into regular mario and as you can see that takes you forever and i'm not gonna get the life room until i'm down to like shit, two health and that was actually really close so what you're gonna do is get spring mario and it's really easy to get hit because he's still shooting at you see 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 what are you supposed to do how are you supposed to dodge that i swear i swear i'm gonna have trouble with this like every person does seriously um, so if you want to dodge that, just try to go to the side, but that fire thing will turn you back into Spring Mario, I mean regular Mario too, so. Um, yeah, just ground pound his head. Um, we have one out of three done. Um, since you're Spring Mario and you're back to where you were, it's actually really easy to do twice. And he will turn electric and it'll shock you and make you fall off, I'm sure, I think so anyways. Okay, come on, come on, I want to do this without dying. Yes, 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 there we go, I killed him. Killed him on my first shot, that is craziness. Craziness, guys, craziness. And with that, less than 24 minutes, we got all five stars for um, Toy Time Galaxy. There we go, that is our 83rd star of the game. You got a star. Pretty sure this is our 83rd. I like to breathe after every level, it just feels refreshing. You got a star, bouncing down Cake Lane, Toy Time Galaxy, star number 82, correction. Five coins, 2,755 star bits. Every game, yes, I will save down to the power of horse of the game. The game has been saved. Thanks for watching Super Mario Galaxy episode 18, Toy Time Galaxy. Next episode, we're going to go and take on the one star galaxy in here, take the Hungry Luma Galaxy, and get our sixth grand star. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys for episode 19. Goodbye.